Now we're going to talk about the Newton Raphson method to find roots of an equation. So uh, this method is based on, it is a little bit similar to some of the other methods. It's based on the idea that we have some function and now let's get an axis in here and let's let's throw down a function and we have my favorite function we have some function coming in here and we want to find the roots of that function so f of x we want to find where that crosses the axis and the newton raphson method starts out, so we, ha we only need one starting point for the newton raphson method, so let's start here. Let's start at that point, x0, and we evaluate the function at x0. We evaluate the function, that, that gets us here, and we say, okay, we not only evaluate the function at x0, the other thing we do is we evaluate the derivative of the function at that point. So we say, we also find the derivative at this point, and so the derivative is going to look something like whatever the derivative is here. I don't know. This is my this is my attempt at the derivative. And when we find the derivative, uh, and then we project that derivative out until it intersects with the x-axis, and at the point at where the deriv which the derivative intersects with the x-axis, that's our next x, that'll be our x1, and we do the same thing. So we have this x1, uh, let me move that, uh, let me move that to x, that label here, it's going to get in our way. We have our x1, and so then we evaluate the function there, and we also evaluate the derivative, so we have both the function and its derivative, and then we have to find where that I don't know exactly but it's going to come in here intersect with the x-axis maybe somewhere in there we find out that point and that's going to be our new x so that'll be our x2 and we evaluate the function at that point we do the same thing all over again and you can see if everything goes well, we'll be getting closer and closer to the derivative.